Yan, magandang araw sa inyo. Ah, uh, welcome sa ating pangatlong video para sa ating para sa ating online class Science 10. Okay, yung unang lesson natin is about uh, earthquake. Second lesson natin is about volcanoes. Puputa naman tayo sa pangatlong lesson which is mountain ranges. Ang tatlong lesson na ito ay nakapaloob sa isang malaking topic na kung saan ang topic na ito ay distribution of geologic features. Okay, so handa na ba kayong magsimula? Yan, magkakahoot muna tayo syempre. Yan. So, ang kahoot natin ay tungkol sa mountain ranges. So, which continent are the Rocky Mountains located? Is it North America, Asia, South America, Europe? North America. Okay. So, yeah, puta tayo sa question number 2. Which continent are the Atlas Mountains located in? South America, Africa, Australia, or Asia? Atlas Mountain Africa Africa Correct Let's put up the third question Third question I Which country has the Ural or Ural mountain range? Is it Nepal, India, Russia or Africa? Mm. Russia I'm not Russia Russia. Which of the following is spelled correctly? Kosayusko. Kosayusko. Alam ko may Z. are found in Africa. Is it true or false? Andes. Ito ba may kita sa Africa? False. 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 Okay. Correct. Kasi ito may kita sa South America. Number six. The Nile River flows down from the Ethiopian highlands. Is it true or false? Nile River isa sa mga ano yun, pinakamahabang ilog sa buong mundo true so, tama tayo question number 7 which mountain range is Mount Everest located is it Urals, Himalayas Atlas or Andes Mount Everest Himalayas. Okay. Eight question. The Alps are located in which continent? Is it Europe, Switzerland, Russia, or Asia? No, Switzerland din naman continent. Alps. At ang Russia din continent. So, Europe or Asia? Europe. Question number nine: The Andes are one are on the side on the east side of the South America. Is it true or false? Andes, South America. East side ba? Ah, false. Kasi nasa west side. West side. Ba? Question number ten: Ethiopian highlands are located in Africa, Asia. Antarctica or Europe. Gawin natin basihan kung saang kontinente kabilang Ethiopia, yung bansang Ethiopia. Africa. Tingnan natin kung tama. Correct. So, doon natapos yung ating kahoot. Now, magkakano tayo, um, buta na tayo sa lesson proper. Yan. So, mountain ranges. 
So, kita nyo, no? When we say mountain ranges sa Filipino, bulubundukin. Uh, bulubundukin. Ayan. So, mountain ranges is about a landform that rises at least 300 meters or 1,000 feet from its surrounding area, cold mountain. So, most mountains form in areas where earth, earth's plate move toward one another and when the crust is subjected to immense forces. So, matitinding forces yung, ano dito, yung binabanggit natin. Plate movements cause landforms to rise to heights to, of up to thousands of meters. So, the highest mountain on earth is Mount Everest with the elevation of 8,848 meters or 29,035 feet above sea level. It is in the border between Tibet and Nepal. Its actual height from its peak is about 3,600 meters or 12,000 feet and the peak of the mountain is the height is the height of its summit above the surrounding terrain so ganun kung ang buong mundo ay may Mount Everest o saan pinakamataas na bundok sa buong mundo ang pinakamataas naman na bundok sa, Fi- sa Philippines o sa Pilipinas ay ang Mount Apo may kita sa Mindanao okay so isa sa mga tanyag na bulubundokin sa buong mundo ay ang Himalayas. So, Himalayas or Himalaya is a mountain range in Asia separating the plains of the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan Plateau. The range has many of the Earth's highest peak including the highest uh, mountain, Mount Everest, which is located in Nepal and China. So, tignan nyo. Yan, bulubunduki na yan. Hmm. Stig. Pangarap ko pumunta dyan. No? Tignan nyo yung zoom version. Parang nakakatakot umakyat. Okay. So. Yan. So ngayon, punta tayo sa ano sa may video, no? Na gusto kong ipanood sa inyo. Ito ay balita galing sa ABS-CBN. So I have five already. The first one is Makini, Alaska, in North America continent. The second one is in Mount Everest, Mount Elbrus in Europe. Katakot-takot na paghahanda at hirap ang pinagdadaanan ni Karina sa bawat akyat. Inamin niya na mapanganib ito dahil sa iba't ibang kondisyon ng bundok at ng panahon. Very risky and dangerous siya. Like Mackin, Alaska, if you're not prepared physically, mentally, emotionally, if wala kang exposure sa altitude. Pero kahit may peligro, tuloy pa rin ang pag-akyat ni Karina. Pinaghahandaan niya ngayon ang Mount Vinson Massif sa Antarctica na gusto niya sanang iakyatin sa Disyembre. Kailangan mag-prepare kasi isa yan sa pinakamalamig na part ng mundo. Oo nga. Gano kalamig? Mga minus what? Minus 40 degrees Celsius. Ang tanong ng marami, bakit gustong sumailalim ang isang Pinay sa ganitong klaseng hirap para maabot ang tuktok ng mataas sa bundok? Gusto natin maabot yung goal natin. Lahat gagawin natin ang options. Mag- Kasabay ng kanyang training para sa Antarctica climb at trabaho sa Coast Guard, lumilikom rin ang pondo si Karina para matuloy ang akyat. Kung magtagumpay sa Antarctica ang huli at pampitong summit na kailangan akyatin ni Karina ay ang Mount Aconcagua sa Argentina. Diane Castillejo, ABS-CBN News. Yan, sobrang nakakabilib si nakakabilib si Karina Dayon doon. No? So, 
Ah, uh, bago tayo magpatuloy, gusto ko lang ano, maging aware kay sa pelikula na nailabas noong 2015. Ang pelikulang ito ay Everest. Okay, so describe ko lang itong uh, Everest. So, Everest is a 2015 biographical adventure film directed and produced by Baltasar Kormakur and written by William Nicholson and Simon Bufoy. It stars an ensem- ensemble cast of Jason Clark, Josh Brolin, John Hawk, Robin Wright, Michael Kelly, Sam Worthington, Kira Knightley, Emily Watson, and Jake Gyllenhaal. So, ito yung ano niya, yung kanyang official trailer. Let's see. on the power of words to describe. Human beings simply aren't built to function at the cruising altitude of a 747. Our bodies will be literally dying. Everest is another beast altogether. How you doing? I'm back. Doug Hansen. What do you do when you're not climbing, Doug? I deliver the mail. First mailman on Everest? Hope so. <laughs> I like that. Sit down, man. Climatize. How's the weather? It's good. I wish I was with you. One day, you, me, and that little Sarah will go climbing together. So today's the day, huh? regular guy can follow impossible dreams, maybe they'll do the same. Uh, with the top of Everest challenge, we made it. Go to Rob. There is a massive storm headed your way. Oh, no. Yan. So speaking of Everest, naging kilala si Edmond Hillary. Okay, dahil kasama ng kanyang uh, Tibetan climber na si Tenzing Norg- Norgay, silang dalawa ang unang tao, unang dalawang uh, climber ang nakakyat sa summit ng Mount Everest. So Hillary, uh, Edmond Hillary was born on July 20, 1919 in Auckland, New Zealand and took up mountain climbing. So in 1953, he and the Tibetan climber Tenzing Norgay were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. So sa parte ng Mount Everest may pinangalan may pinangalan may pinangalan sa kanya, you know, parang uh, Hillary Walk. Okay, so Hillary later participated in expedition to the South Pole and was among the first to reach the top of Mount Herschel. He also cultivated resources for the people of Nepal. He died on January 11, 2008 due to heart attack. So, ayan si, ano, ayan si Edmund Hillary. 
Okay? Ayan. Ayan yung kasama niya si ano, Tenzing Norgay. Isang Tibetan. Ayan yung picture. So, ang isa sa mga quotation na hindi ko makakalimutan kay, kay Edmund Hillary is, It is not the mountains we conquer, but ourselves. Diba? So, ang ganda-ganda. Okay. Now, speaking of matataas na bundok, okay, nabanggit natin ang Mount Everest, okay, pupunta tayo sa pinakamato, pinakamataas sa bundok sa Philippines, ang Mount Apo. Yan. So, ang Mount Apo is an active volcano a south central uh, located in the south central Mindanao 20 miles or 32 kilometers west of Davao City so it is the highest point highest point in the Philippines rising to 9692 feet or 2954 meters okay so part of Cordillera, Cordillera Central it is covered by a forest of tall tropical hardwoods Two subsidiary peaks nearly match its height. And then Mount Apo National Park, which is established in 1936 and has an area of 199,819 acres or 80,864 hectares. It is the home of the rare Philippine eagle and features numerous peaks and valleys as well as Malacita Falls, Sibulaw Lake, and the Kisinte Hot Springs. So, isa yan sa mga pangarap kong puntahan ang Mount Apo. Ayan. So, speaking of Mount Apo, dyan nakatira ang Philippine Eagle. So, ang Philippine Eagle ay may scientific name na Pitekofaga Jeffery. Okay, so the Philippine Eagle, also known as the monkey-eating eagle or great Philippine Eagle, is an endangered species. So, since sila ay mga endangered na, at ang kanilang tirahan ay at ang kanilang tirahan ay ang mga bulubundukin so it is our responsibility na pangalagaan ang bulubundukin okay para may tahanan ang mga Philippine eagle so it is an endangered species of eagle of the family Axipitridae which is endemic to forests in the Philippines so Speaking of taxonomy, no? phylum under Chordata, class Avis, at ang kingdom niya ay Animalia. Okay. So, yan. According to Traveloka, okay, naglabas sila ng ano, mass climb mountains in the Philippines. At ang pinakamataas dyan ay ang Apo. Pero mag-share ako ng mga nai, ano ko na, mga na nai naakyat ko na nabundok okay so 1, 2, 3, 4 yun nasa, four, yun nasa orange na label ayan okay unahin ko ang Mount Ulap ang Mount Ulap ay may taas na 1,846 meters above sea level ito ay may kita sa Itogon Benguet so okay so it is situated in Itogon Benguet Okay, this mountain is known for its scenic view of Cordilleras while trekking the grassland and pine tree ridges. Okay, if we if we were lucky with good weather, one can even see Mount Arayan, Mount Ugo, and Mount Pulag. So, kapag naakyat tayo sa ulap, sa Mount Ulap, may kita natin yung ibang mga karatig bundok niya. No? Mount Arayat, Mount Ugo, at Mount Pulag. There are three peaks in this destination. First is the Ambanao Pawai Peak, where hikers are welcome with pine trees. So, nung umakyat kami dyan, maraming pine trees kaming na, na sa lubong. So, ibig sabihin, nasa Am- Ambanao Pawai Peak na kami. Second is the Gunggal Peak, na kung saan, Kapag nandito ka na, makikita nyo ang sikat na gunggal rock. So, nung, nung nandun kami, ang daming, ano, ang haba ng pila. So, hindi na kami nakapicture ng solo-solo. So, pinicture na lang namin yung gunggal rock itself. At, ang third is the Mount Ulap Summit, which has a height of 1,846 meter above sea level. So, Napakaganda at priceless ng lugar na ito, no? Isishare kayo mga pictures namin. 
Sayan. So, ayan yung mga pictures namin nung pumunta kami sa Mount Ulap. Talagang mahatat, mahahawakan mo ang ulap pag nandito tayo. So, so bukod nandito tayo sa ano, Mount Ulap. So, sobrang lamig kasi malapit ito sa Baguio. Uh, Benguet eh. Ayan. Ang next ko namang napuntahan ay ang Mount Mariveles o Tarak Ridge. Ito ay may taas na 1,130 meters above sea level na, ma- na located sa Mariveles, Bataan. So, Mount Mariveles is a dormant volcano and the highest point in the province of Bataan in the Philippines. So, Mariveles and the adja- adjacent Mount Natib comprise 80 per- 8, 80.9% of the total land area of the province. So, ito yung mga pictures namin. Ayan. So, tingnan nyo. O, oh, ang taas-taas. Ay, ako, ako yan yung nakatulong ka doon. Ito naman yung mga pictures namin. Ang kaganda. O, oh, di ba? O. Oh. Noong nagpapapicture ako dyan, ano, talagang kailangan matibay ang loob mo na mag-pose. sa mga, ayan, sa bandang bang yan. Next naman, okay, nakapunta kami sa Mount Makulot. No? So, ang Mount Makulot ay 830 meters above sea level at located ito sa Cuenca, Bat- Batangas. So, Mount Makulot is a mountain located in the town of Cuenca in Batangas province in the Philippines. And this mountain is popular among mountain climbers and campers. It is the major tourist attraction of the municipality. So, tignan nyo yung aming, ano, aming uh, experience dyan. Ayan. So, isa yan sa mga matapang kong pag-akyat sa bundok. Tignan nyo. Ha, sa taas po ako nyan. Ay, ito. Ayan, just ko. Kita niyo yung view. Sobrang priceless. At ay kumakalimutan niya experience na yan. Ayan. Ayan. So, balik na po tayo sa lesson. Ayan, tunay na yung nakakatakot, no? So, sigo, ah, uh, marahil. Naranasan ni Karina da yun doon, ang mga nasa movie na yun. Sa movie ito, nakaka, ano, nakakapangilabot kasi tunay na, sa tunay na buhay, kapag may aakit, o aakit ka sa Mount Everest, may may kita ka talaga mga patay na hindi na kinukuha yung katawan. Nandun na lang sa kanilang mga dinadaanan kasi uh, hindi na nare-rescue. Parang yun na yung naging, naging nilang huling hantungan. Okay, so moving forward. So mountains, many exist in isolation or in groups. A chain of mountains forms a mountain range. So, so we have learned that plates continuously slide and grind against each other. So these converging plates may carry continents that collide into each other. So, this pressure causes the surface to crumple and fold, forming mountain ranges. So, an, ex- uh, an example is the Himalayas, the highest mountain range in the world, where uh, was formed due to the collision of the Indian plate and Eurasian plate. So, look at the picture. No? So, yeah. so So, that is the, yan, uh, an example of a continental, continental convergence then. So, because of the collision, ayan, nagkakaroon ng formation ng mountain range. Okay, so, since... Since neighboring mountains in a range often share the same geologic origins, 
they have similar forms, sizes, and ages. So think of them like a neighborhood, neighborhood of houses, all built around the same time. While they are not identical, they share similar features. So long chains of mountains or mountain ranges combine to form mountain belts. So mountain belts extend for several hundred kilometers, often across continents. So the Andes Mountain that we can uh, located, uh, which is located in South America, okay, so these mountains resulted from the collision between Pacific Plate and South American Plate. So in the Philippines, also has a mountain range, and the longest of them is the Sierra Madre. Yan. Okay, so Sierra Madre Mountain Range it is located along the north northeastern coast of Luzon Island converging several provinces such as Aurora, Bulacan, Cagayan, Isabela, Laguna, Nueva Ecija, Nueva Vizcaya, Quezon, Quirino, and Rizal. So ito yung pinakapaborito kong lugar, yung mountain range ng Sierra Madre kasi ang daming bundok dyan. Okay, so I want to share some experiences sa ano, sa Sierra Madre and Osmeña Peak. Okay, so Ayan, ayusin ko lang. Okay, so yung picture kong yan ay kinuha sa Mount 387 sa Karanglan, Nueva Ecija. So, ayan, parte pa rin niya ng Sierra Madre Mountain Range. Next. Ito naman, uh, grupo kami dyan. May grupo kami yung nabumundok. Ang pangalan ay Team Mucho. So, ayan yung mga kaibigan ko. So, nandyan ako. So, uh, kami ay umakyat sa Mount Coolis sa Tanay Rizal. Diba? Ang ganda. Ayan, ito namang picture na ito ay kinuwa sa Mount Lobo. Uh, ayan, kasama ng Mount Lobo, inakyat din namin ang Mount Ngusong Kabayo. Pero nauna yung Ngusong Kabayo, tapos Mount Lobo. Ayan, sa Tanay Rizal naman, sa Tanay Rizal din namin pinunt, uh, pinuntahan yan. Sa so, kuha ko to, <laughs> okay, ito ay sa Mount Lobo pa rin at Mount Ngusong Kabayo sa Tanay Rizal. Ganda ng bulubundukin, ano? Okay, ayan. Siyempre, hindi mawawala ang rainbow flag. So, kami ay umakyat sa Mount Mapalad sa Tanay Rizal. Ganda, may kamay doon sa peak. Okay, ito namang magandang view na ito. Medyo madilim kasi nasa likod yung araw. Ito ay nung umakyat kami sa Osmeña Peak sa Cebu. Ito ay pinakabataas na... Uh, point sa sa Cebu, Cebu Island. Okay, so ayan tignan niyo. Alam niyo ba during that time halos natabunan kami ng ano ng ng ulap. Okay, so may video ako ipapakita sa inyo katapos nito. Ayan, uh, natabunan kami ng ulap tas afternoon tumambad sa sa amin nila Sir Tristan, ni Albert, yung kasama namin dati kong estudyante yung magandang view ng Osmeño Peak. Ang ganda. Tapos nakita namin yung karagatan. Ayan. So, ayan si Sir Tristan. So, kami ay nature lover <laughs> during that time. At sobrang saya noong mga panahon na yan. Okay. Kasama ko naman dito sa picture na ito ang aking mga co-teacher sa science unit sa Lasal, Araneta. So, kami ay pumunta sa Masungi Geo Reserve. Oo, oh, so, sa Baras Rizal yan. Sa Baras Rizal. So, ayun yung spider web. Tapos, ito ay... Yan, o. Oh. Ang inakit namin dyan mga, ano, uh, bundok, yung tatay at nanay. Di ba? May ganun mga pangalan. So... Ayan, medyo madilim lang at pinakita yung picture namin kasi may araw against the light yung picture pero talagang hindi, ako, hindi ko makakalimutan yung experience na yan ayan, tila nyo nasa tulay kami oh, ang ganda-ganda 
Okay, so... Ayan. So, doon natatapos ang ating uh, mountain range uh, topic. So, um, balikan natin yung mga lesson natin. So, una is about earthquake. Pangalawa is volcanoes. Pangatlo is mountain range, which is part ng lesson ng distribution of geologic features. Salamat sa pakikinig. Okay? At happy studying. Paalam. I smile. Hello, Bija to. Oh, I smile naman kaya. Hello. Bija to. Ah, Bija ba? Hi. Yon. So, kanina, pinalilibutan kami ng ng fog. Ngayon, ngayon, kitang kita na yung ano, yung mga hill, mga hills. At ngayon, kita kita ni mga dagat. Look at that! Oh my God! Oh, on na yun ay kita ko. Yun. Look at the view. Nulit ko, nandito kami sa ibabaw ng Osmeña Peak. Diba? Kita nyo ba? <laughs> Kaya ako ako sa inyo, pupunta kayo sa Cebu. Hindi kompleto ang Cebu ninyo kung walang Osmeña Peak. Para kaming nasa Bohol na. Although pupunta kami doon soon. So, bye-bye. Guys, kanina, punong-puno to ng fog. Ngayon, wala na. <laughs> Tignan mo nyo naman. Tignan nyo naman yung mga... Tangin ang oh, gando. Binibidyohan <laughs> nagmura. Hello. Nandito kami sa Osmeña Peak. Kanina, uh, kanina, Malinaw to. Malinaw. Ngayon, pinalilibutan lang kami ng fog. Hello, Sir Tristan. Hello, hello, Albert. Hello. Ayan, pinalilibutan lang kami ng fog. Kanina, ang dami-dami dito ng ano. Napapakinggan niya siguro sila lang. Lahat kami pare-pareho sa Giyagawa. Meron ako ka. Co-vlogger dito. Si Albert. No, ay. <laughs> kainis to <laughs> so ayan yung isa naman ay ewan ko kung anong ginagawa so grabe ano ano to kung lang yan ano uh, sa lagit to yan kaya nga eh no namiss ko yung sagada namiss ko yung kiltepan ngayon kung gusto nyo ng sea of clouds nandito tayo ngayon sa sea of fog Oh. You will drown in the sea of... Grabe Ewan ko kung paano kami makakababa nito Kasi yung daanan namin Wala di namin makita So Stranded Stranded kami dito Kakain muna kami Hayaan namin ang ulap ay Ano Lamunin kami ng buo Bye bye